What's up guys, Sal here. So we're just a couple of days away from the most awaited Pixel launch ever. People are excited to see how the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro are gonna stack up against the competing devices from their main competitors, Samsung and Apple. People are also excited to see the capabilities of the new Tensor chip. Speaking of which, Qualcomm is salty that Google is more or less abandoning the chip maker to make its own SoC. We'll talk about that in a minute, but first let's take a look at the new official trailers or promotional videos of both the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro that showcase some of its highlighting features. First up, it shows the magic eraser, which as you know, removes unwanted objects from a photo using AI. We knew this already, but it's the first time we're actually taking a look at its user interface. Next, another highlighting feature is Live Translate. In this demo, they are showcasing that you can use it while texting to translate your language into English or vice versa. What's impressive here is that all of these translations happens offline. You don't need the internet for this, which means the translations happen much quicker. Plus, it can also translate videos in real time. However, it's not gonna be audio translation, but rather captions. But still, the fact that the Tensor chip can do this offline just shows how smart and powerful it actually is. All in all, with the Pixel 6, Google is particularly focusing on its AI features that don't require internet in order to allay privacy concerns. With that said, Qualcomm tries to throw shade at Google with Twitter's worst meme ever, the red flag. For anyone unfamiliar with the significance of a red flag, it's a sign of danger and warning. Users are sharing quotes that they deem to be a warning sign of possible problematic behaviors or beliefs and then following those quotes with several red flag emojis. Qualcomm tried to hop on the trend by saying quote unquote, we've decided to make our own smartphone SoC instead of using Snapdragon, followed by a series of red flag emoji. In this case, the red flag is the Google Tensor chip. Well, Qualcomm doesn't directly name Google, but it's obvious who they're referring to. First of all, we've gotta give it to Qualcomm. They have some balls when you think their main business is dependent on Google. They are the owner of Android. They can theoretically tweak Android to make Snapdragon redundant while encouraging every other OEM to use TensorChip. It's the most extreme step, but still not impossible. Anyway, it's funny how Qualcomm is salty when considering the fact that they dominate the Android SoC market and Google for now is just a very small player in the business. But still, they're throwing shade which just shows that they are nervous, kinda like Intel with Apple. But I see why Qualcomm is feeling the heat. Samsung seems to be expanding Exynos with AMD partnership and MediaTek is becoming competitive. Plus, if Google opens up the Tensor chip for other OEMs to use, then Qualcomm will get pinched by competition that they haven't really had before. And it's giving them and their investors concerns about future market performance with clients becoming less reliant on their tech. So Qualcomm is definitely starting to get a fire lit under them. And it may not be good for them, but definitely good for us because there's this thing called competition. It's a great thing to see, makes companies work harder and provide more value. Of course, let me know what you think down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.